Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice with your show, Mr. Bob and Ben Magnus. Say hello, Ben. Hello, and can you hear me this time, Bob? I can hear you. I can hear you, Kirk. Can you hear me? <laughs> uh, anywho. Yeah, last last episode I didn't, uh, <laughs> I forgot to turn my Adobe Edition on, <laughs> so my my voice wasn't being piped into my, uh, my broadcast software and thus being recorded, so... Sound might have been a little goofy the last episode. There might have been some some Magnus sound effects on, on on the Bob track. So the French are continuing to just throw bodies at the singular point along the Siegfried line at Offenburg. Are you winning? And well, I'm kind of rotating troops in and out here is what what I'm doing, you know, because they because they've got a healthy reserve that's uh, coming in and out, right? I've got a whole shit ton of events that just popped up here. Yes, we will have a uh, non-aggression pack with Sweden for their iron. That's a good idea, actually. And we will expand the synthetic industry because I've got literally a bajillion uh, supplies to do that with. Yeah, let's build more air bases. Why not? <laughs> Land all the planes everywhere. Um, an air base for every man, woman, and child <laughs> in, in Germany. I can't believe I'm actually... It's taking forever, but we're actually winning this battle. It's starting. It's starting to steamroll. Like as as that after that first division uh, fell, the other ones are starting to fall more quickly. Ah, ha, ha, ha. People's Republic of Suck It. <laughs> oh, you're all gonna die. <laughs> What on earth? Why are you all the way over here? You should be with your command thing over here. Why did you leave him behind? What the... Chinese troops have defected. So I just got a bunch of Chinamen. Oh. <laughs> they know who's king shit over in, over there in yeah. Asia. They do. They, they most certainly do. Um, but how about you go over here? I could use you as a... Uh, uh, like a, a back... Background troops, not background, uh, backfield, back, people in the back that do the things from the back. The support unit, if you will. There you go, that's the word that could be used <laughs> for it. I'm not used to recording in the afternoon. I get my best work done in the, work done in the morning. <laughs> Is it late for bed? Does Ben need a nap? <laughs> I did one already. Danish 20 millimeter cannon. What, what is this? What is this? Uh, it's probably captured. The Germans tend to get a lot of captured equipment events. Because the, the way it's being kind of displayed is that, like, I found, like, a gun in a field and, like, some, some of my soldiers thought, hey, this is kind of cool. Let's use this. Uh, well, oh, it's an anti-aircraft gun. That's definitely something you're going to need. Anti-aircraft guns in this game are actually really good because they work as uh, anti uh, as piercing oh. actually. Oh man, we're gonna put this on on the Siegfried line. This is going down here. <laughs> and that railway gun, by the way, is still trying to get out of position to run away from the fight. <laughs> I think we are actually going to take this city. We are. Everybody get in on this. Get on it. Get in it. Mine fewer. One dude died, but twenty-one of theirs did. Oh my god! How? Which, just despite these these like ratios that I've got going on here, I think you still technically have a better one because you're killing like forty to one yeah. on some of those engagements. So. Yeah. But then again, yeah, you know, I'm fighting the Chinese, and you're fighting the Frenchmen. Or Saints, or, you know, all the fight, fighting a variety of people on many fronts. Yeah, and and I'm fighting, I'm fighting the Chinese, which are, you know, I just want to be all inclusive, you know. Not they're not the thing isn't really, you know, efficiency or quality. It's more quantity. Way down a couple new cruisers. Oh, so how much more time have you clocked in on a uh, Supreme Ruler Ultimate? I'm eager to find out. A few hours. A few hours. Um, picking up little bits here and there. Um, I was actually thinking about watching like one of your failure series to pick up some tips, as it were. 
Uh, well, the Italian one would definitely be a good one if you want to look for failure. Yeah, just like, this is what you shouldn't do kind of thing. Because there isn't a whole lot of YouTube content on Supreme Doodle. There isn't, and there's the, the um, literature that's on it is kind of sparse and not, like, that good. It kind of harkens back to, like... Trying to like read a game manual from like 2001. <laughs> Been there. As far as like explanation of how like things work and all that. God, I remember when I was a kid playing like one of the original like theme park tycoons. Or I had like one of the theme park tycoon games. I don't remember which one it was. One of the very first ones, like Sim Theme Park or something like that. And uh, printing out the manual, and it was like an entire ream of paper. It was like 300 pages. Jesus Christ. I very specifically remember that because my parents were not happy that I wasted like an entire room. You <laughs> <laughs> killed many saplings for this. Yeah. There are two infantry divisions left in Yan An, and then the People's Republic will be put. Oh, that I got That's my still gun. still can't join my faction yet. No, no, we're too neutral, Bob. So, I'm too neutral. Too too neutral. Just born with a heart of neutrality. <laughs> Japan so neutral, us slaughters millions of Chinese. <laughs> yeah, but there are there's still there's nobody over here like paying attention to what's going on, so no one cares. It's 1938. Okay, the French finally have no units in reserve on this assault on Offenburg has been happening for like the past like what fucking six episodes? Mm hmm Whatever it is. No, this battle's been going on for about three or four episodes, I think, and it's almost over. The last unit's about to break. My god. I can't wait to see the casualties on this because it's I don't think the casualties are gonna be spectacular. But it's for eh, there might be ten ten thousand on my side, maybe. Maybe more. Maybe a hundred thousand on their side. Oh, I do have panzers. Hello. <laughs> They're, They're just kind of sitting in, in the middle of Western Germany right now, just kind of hanging out. Oh, I remember why I put them there is to um, to intercept any naval invasions that came by okay. or something like that. The um, the battle is over. Yes. Uh, I lost 12,872 men on the assault on the city. Um, they lost 82,610 of the 101,000 that were stayed. Uh, no, of the 82,000, 10,000 were killed. So I captured 70, killed 10,000 and captured 70,000. Was that like 7 to 1? Uh, so between 7 and 8 to 1, but yeah, the city fell. I mean, they actually killed more ch uh, Japanese people than I killed Chinese people, but it was assaulting a city, like, through mountains across a river into forts. So, <laughs> fuck them. It was, it was, it was well earned. Jesus Christ. That's over. And I'm about to surround, uh... Uh, uh, Nanjing. Uh, I promise to be nicer to it, though. <laughs> there will be no war crimes under the Magnus, uh, dictatorship, directorate of Magnu. Hashtag Magnu. Are Nanjing and Nanjing both the same thing? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. I think it's just, uh, it was just a name change, because that tended to happen a lot. <laughs> no flag, no country. Those are the rules. <laughs> I'd love a pickled herring. <laughs> More reserves keep popping up in the French line. I this really battle is never going to end. I really wish we could be friends so I could see this. Right? Oh, now I have to wait for my troops to walk through the mountains into the city, which is going to take like a couple weeks. <laughs> so wait, did the defenders leave the city to come well, get you? When you, um, like, say you have a city, uh, uh, province surrounded. Uh, and, and you and you reduce it by combat. Uh, when the last unit breaks, everybody everybody surrenders, uh, and the units are uh, deleted off the map. But then, before you own the province, your your units still have to complete the movement order from the province they started the attack into, 
to the province they're attacking. And because I'm moving from, like through mountains across a river into a city, it's just a really long movement order. Like normally you're fighting, you know, fighting in like, you know, like the low, uh, the, like uh, you know, plains in Germany or something like that. It's just like, you know, it's a couple ticks. It's a couple days or something like that. But mm-hmm. it's going to take a really long time considering the terrain I'm fighting in. The uh, the rest of the front is really calmed down here, waiting while, while uh, you know, like a three quarters of a uh, of an army were assaulting that city. I really wish we could be friends. put one tick into that. Direct fire combined doodles? Yes, combine those doodles. Parts of the suppression, that's probably a good idea. Supply transfer costs, supply throughput, unit cooperate. Ooh, uh, that doesn't sound good. Supply stuff is good. So what are the commando units good for? Um, I think they're really good at like things like urban com- like combat in in rough terrain. So they're they're good to attach to like your assault divisions or light infantry divisions. Like, uh, if you don't, ha- I-, I doubt you have any in Germany right now. But uh, having like a core of light infantry is a really good idea because they're very effective at fighting in like forests and swamps, especially if they're fighting against normal infantry units. Japan oh, annexed China. The, J- Japan annexed the People's Republic of China, which is now part of their country. Ha, 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 Not to be ha, confused ha. with the Republic of China. They are different. Which is not for the people. Alright, so you move there. So you're gonna you are you gonna eat up the whole of China? Is that your plan? That's the plan. All of them. All of the delicious Chinamen. Delicious Chinamen? Uh, we're is not there, cannibals. Is there famine uh, in Japan? I don't remember saying, I don't remember anybody <laughs> saying delicious. What's, what's going on in Japan? Need, I, don't, I don't recall anybody saying that. Uh, it's in places we're actually just fighting conscripts and garrisons. <laughs> just give up fighting French. Just give up. Oh, this is interesting. I got three Japanese cavalry cavalry divisions attacking three Chinese cavalry divisions. Mm. Let's throw some tanks into the mix just for just to make it saucy. <laughs> but I have one light tank division. Let me use a bomb. Oh, sigh. Still can't invite you to the faction even though you just annexed into the country. I'm sorry, what? I still can't invite you to the into the faction, despite the fact that you annex another country. That is unfortunate. I mean, how close? You, like, you, you think that you know annexing another like sovereign nation would you know like make you like you know a monster in the eyes the of the world? That's the second one but... I've done too. Shan Chi was a thing as well. Shan Chi, Shan Zi. How do you pronounce an X in Chinese? Is it Xi or Z? I've always thought it was an SH, but I'm not a language guy, so... No. Uh, so the difference between our neutral and the highest threat against us is too high. The value is 16.04, while it needs to be lower than 15. So we're close! Uh, well, let's see. Who is my highest threat? Huh. <laughs> I've got a unit here that's kind of like Buford's Cavalry just running through Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> just like, yay! Force Culker in Denmark. Damn straight. I just saw that pop up. All right. What if we go to intelligence and then go to allies, go to United Kingdom, uh, put our spies there, increase the threat from the, from the United Kingdom, make them all threatening. Hey, you know, those guys on the other side of the world, they're really dangerous. <laughs> true all right <laughs> my unit I, my, my army definitely needs a, a couple couple ticks here to kind of cool off after the, those uh, those pushes that guy's uh, repl- 
Uh, oob Ungskrum. Replenishment. Replenishing train targets in Trubelbergen. Okay. I don't know what any of that Major means. victory! What did I win? Is this Offenberg? Oh, it's Offenberg! It's finally on. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Those numbers! Holy shit! Oh my god! Do tell. Do tell. All right. All right. So, so for, for me, uh, out of the 51,445 German troops that were involved in the battle, 7,847 of them were killed. Mm -hmm. Pretty high casualties. Out of the 496,094 French troops, half a million, 108,994 were killed. So almost a, a little over a fifth of, of the attacking Christ, force Bob. was killed. In this. I'm going to screenshot this. Heaps of dead Frenchmen. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped attacking Offenberg. Finally, they know peace. Well, oh. What I what I learned the hard way playing Black Ice is that uh, the devs could figure out uh, a uh -oh. way. To now get things were going sideways here. The devs couldn't get figure out a way to get the the AI to realize um, that suicidal attacks were really not the way to go. Uh, so what they did instead was just gave the AI unlimited manpower so that it it, it couldn't bleed itself dry. So the AI, the AI will never run out of manpower, just FYI. <laughs> so where was that, Offsburg? Offenberg. So it's, uh, if you yeah, look I at the Swiss border, it's yeah. three up. Yeah, Offenberg. There's 108,000 dead Frenchmen on the river. Were they at least attacking from all three flanks? They were, yes. Okay, that's that's smart. So so what's going I mean, on? It, it, looked, it looked to me like it was roughly... Um, you know, like four or five army corps were like just jumping in there, just like, yeah, we got this. I mean, what the shit? What are you doing in here? Who are you? Who are you? It's like, uh, just like some UK tanks just like popped up in, uh, in Truppen Übungsplatz. <laughs> they're, they're easily dispatched, but I don't know why they're popping up there in the first place. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the one playing Germany right now because I've had enough of people mocking my German pronunciation. All right, because mine's better. Well, at least it's well, you know. The, the name may be Bundeswehr Bob. This makes me German. I actually had someone the other day uh, go, go come up to or not come up to me, but comment to me and go, "Hey, do you know that uh, Bundeswehr Bob's name literally means Federal Forces Bob?" And I was like, "Yes, I did. I was the one who suggested that he." Give himself a like a nomen. I actually didn't put together that. Uh, that's it's kind of like a it's similar to GI Joe actually in like intonation. Like I didn't put that together until like someone said that on my I Discord. I didn't notice it either. Merc infantry. Put that all the way up. Um. So. So I'm... at the end of that battle with Offenberg, the SA I think finally broke and ran away. But that's okay. We'll give him a pass this They're time brown because. Coats. They, well, not brown brown shirts, not brown, brown coats. Brown, that's different, right? That's a thing. It is different. Our forces are attacking Baden Baden. That just not to be confused with Baden, but Baden Baden. <laughs> yeah, Baden Baden. <laughs> so, yeah, like the brown shirts weren't like. They were like the I think they were. I mean, yeah. eventually, I think they were absorbed into like the Wehrmacht. I think eventually, right? If I remember my history correctly, yeah, they were, they were, they were like either disbanded or. Like, some units were disbanded and just, you know, sent home, and some were just absorbed into the Wehrmacht. Yeah, so they they weren't, like, uh, they were kind of more like thugs, really, than more than anything else. So the fact that these, like, thugs stood there on the Siegfried line, like, when they're, when they're like, used to, like, you know, like, breaking the windows of, like, Jewish bakers, like, you know... <laughs> For really, like, as their, like, thing, as their vocation, you know, it's surprising that uh, they stood there for the entire time. It only just broke, so. I'm making myself some new infantry. I have new planes. So we do like new aircraft. Those are nice. So I, think, I think I'm actually going to put these guys up in the north. Because I haven't seen any like other, I haven't seen any aircraft come over my airspace aside from what's coming over from the French line. Uh, so I haven't seen anything bombing so far. It'll, it'll wait happen. Wait till the U.S. gets fucking involved. 
well, if I have my way, this won't ever get, get involved. Because <laughs> Polo got annexed, bitch. <laughs> well, uh, the way that Black Ice handles the United States bombing missions against Germany, um, uh, because is what it, it does is it gives an event fires that gives a couple provinces of the United Kingdom to the United States with like level ten airports in them, so the United States can base bombers there. Uh huh. Yeah, and it'll it can, it, it can it can get ugly. It can hurt. Meanwhile, on the Latvian front, I don't want us to see you redeploy this railway gun into position because it's not going to be organization. They're going to wait for the organization to get back into the thing. <laughs> but we're going to start the attack anyway. We're going to go ahead and get in here on Riga. We're going to attack from several directions. They won't know what hit him. Sounds good to me. Well, they will know what hit him because they've been watching it <laughs> there for just build up forever. So they they've been watching this. Uh, what did you have? Do you have your siege artillery there? Uh, I have a unit of artillery. I have some heavy artillery, and uh, a railway gun is moving into position currently. I'm about to say they they, they get to see you spend months on end building this fucking monstrosity. Not just a regular monstrosity. Fucking monstrosity. Things are going well for me. Really, really, really tempted just to sit here and let the French hurl themselves at the Siegfried Light again. I could use another 100,000, you know, man body count. I see no problems with this. gonna bring in some light because you don't you don't need any sort of like air superiority in like the region or to do an airdrop do you uh no but i mean you could get your ass shot down well right like like the aircraft take off and like hunt down an aircraft that's just invading their airspace yeah. like you know it's not like in hoi 4 where you have to have air superiority in the region to do a pair drop you can you could try to sneak one in there you just might fucking die hmm i think it's time to activate the function bigger yeah. They can be. I, I, I use them very effectively because, my God, I remember in my uh, when I played as German, I invaded England um, or the United Kingdom. Sorry, uh, <laughs> England. England folded like a cheap suit, uh, but fucking Scotland is where things really got bogged down. It was a nightmare fighting in the Highlands. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh, what I used to break the stalemate was uh, dropping some Falschmagers on their main supply route. And cutting off supplies to uh, uh, the more southerly reaches. Wait a minute. How do I know what airborne engineers are, but I don't know what, like, just airborne infantry are? What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you, you figured that shit out first. You did things in... You, the horse is in front of the cart, Bob. Look, Laban's and Ram waits for no man, okay? We established this already. Okay, so if I need yeah, to... That, pop, that popped up in your Bob says. <laughs> yeah. So where is Falschmager in here in this thing? Is that in special forces? It's gonna be special forces, right? Mm, yes. Okay. So there's all the warfare equipment that's available, but nothing else. Everything else is grayed out. Paratrooper activation, 1938. Small arms infantry, at least four. Infantry support weapons, at least four. Everything's gonna be four. Okay. So you just need something else. You know, I'm gonna unlock something else first. I gotta unlock a bunch of stuff. So small arms. Bhutan keeps stealing my shit. Clearly, you should just kick their ass. Uh, well, there's it's just like a million Chinese people to get through first. Well, when you finally mow through them, they'll rue the day. Yeah, and I'll probably get I'll, get I'll probably get stuck in Burma too. Okay, so we will have. Falsche Mager available for research come like July thirty first. Um, so if you oh, no August fourth, that's the what's that's when the last tech I need to research them will unlock. Until then, we're gonna just be fending off Frenchies, I guess. Wow, ah, they're French. Did they actually come close to breaching the Siegfried line? 
No, I had plenty of okay. reserve available to like fight them off. Like, uh, it, 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 like one, one, like one, like one, one garrison broke. You just simply move just another infantry unit into the position, and yeah. you know it's like it's your set. You know, so mm -hmm. no, I am not concerned about the French busting through. All uh, right, so my command and control. Oh no! Uh, battle commander recognition. <laughs> the railway guns almost in position to fire on Riga. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost there. Ooh, jungle unit training. That could be useful. <laughs> In Southeast Asia? Nah. <laughs> Sounds like fake news to me. Fake news. Oh, well, it should be at the bottom of the list. Uh, battlefield commander recognition. Yeah, people want more toasters. You had a bunch of needy bastards. My people aren't very that. I mean, the Japanese people are are not really into toasters right now. Uh, they're fully behind the whole let's invade everybody thing. Um, I they only require eleven toasters per quadrum. <laughs> oh, apparently I left a. Uh, a division just sitting in the back doing nothing. I do need some more reinforcement, though. We're going to up our reinforcement rate. Defense research report. What do we get? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did I even have this? What did you figure out how to do? Nothing. Okay, listen to this. Defense research report. Mind Fuhrer, after a lengthy period of toiling, we are finally prepared to report back to you with our latest research findings. All right. Excellent. What did we yield? And these are my. These are the chance effects here. What are four options will happen? 60% chance of no effect, 25% chance of no effect, 10% chance of no effect, or 5% chance of we will get the research failed event. <laughs> okay, that's funny. What do I pay you fools for? Apparently nothing. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Minor research breakthrough. Wait, what? This isn't jiving with what they just told me in the folder. Like, they just handed me, like, a folder with empty things with, like, four... They handed me a folder with four pieces of paper in it, right? I was told I had to choose one piece of paper. One of it had, a, like, a red, red X on it. I'd get, like, towel whipped or something, right? Like, that was the equivalent here. Now, now what happens is I pulled out a piece of paper, but now I've been handed, like, a box, like a mystery box, and now there's 13 <laughs> things that could come out of the box. It's Schrodinger's research report. I don't know what's going on. So I could get like engineering unit, bridging equipment, assault equipment gain. This is all like research points, I assume here is what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. So great, cool. <laughs> just, they're playing a game with the Fuhrer. The Fuhrer doesn't like it. Sixty percent chance of no effect, twenty-five percent chance of no effect, ten percent chance of no effect, or five percent chance of research failed. <laughs> Why did you guys even go to go to work? Uh, they were just collecting a paycheck, sitting around, like, uh, clicking paper footballs. Goddamn DARPA. <laughs> oh, we won the Battle of Riga, I guess, at some point in there. <laughs> they were just distracting you from the combat. It's, it's a, at some point that happened. Put those on there. Nice. Oh, they're attacking me. Build the new industrial zone. We're not doing this because this replaces resources. We're gonna say no. Yes, it does. That's all. It's not just like in, um, in Black Ice where you just do everything because you know everything is good. You you actually have to pick and choose what what you want to do. <laughs> Come on, France. You want to attack Offenberg again? You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want to choke the river with 100,000 more French dead bodies. <laughs> they're, they're pulling a Magnus there. <laughs> choke your rivers with my dead. Isn't that the point? Oh, man. But we're out of time, fortunately, for this episode. So Aww. thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out The Other Perspective, where you can watch 100,000 you know, Frenchies die or where... Uh, the, the the genocide of China is carried out. The People's Republic of in China the has been carried out. Republic of China is coming up next. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. And we'll catch you guys later.